Hey, Andres, how are you doing? Uh, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Um, I guess just how how have the skates been going? What have been the biggest things you've you've kind of taken away from this development camp so far? Uh, from first of all, it was to get used to attitude and all of that, and after that, it's a lot of technique stuff with Sean. So a lot of things you don't been practice on and done before. So a lot to take in, a lot and a lot of to practice on too. Any other questions for Andres? Hi, can you talk a little bit about your decision to switch over to North America and, and sign with the Avalanche here? Uh, sure. Uh, I played before in uh, Sweden and played pro hockey for a few years and I felt that, that I wanted to try something new and uh, get better as a player and get more experience and I got this opportun opportunity and it felt great. So uh, it feels feels awesome right now. So it was a great decision. Peter Bobby, Athletic. You've been in a skating group with Jean-Luc Foudy. What have you What have you seen from him so far? What impresses you about him as a player? Uh, I haven't seen him before since this camp, but he's a good skater. Peter, do you have anything else? All right, thank you, Andres. Questions for Alan Ford, Sample Ranta, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hi, Sampa. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm well. Um, how was your off season just in general? Where were you and who were you training with? It was awesome. I, I went back home to Finland, uh, worked out with, uh, with a bunch of, uh, bunch of pro guys. Uh, we had a crew group going. We had, uh, well, Miko, Miko was there. So that was really good. So we, we had a really good group going and, uh, you know, great off season. Kelly Parmley, Avalanche.com. Hi, Sampo. What have you kind of taken from the first few days of camp here um, that you can take into the rookie tournament this weekend? Um, and what's kind of the excitement level for the three on three this afternoon, evening? Uh, well, first of all, the three on three is going to be awesome. It's always fun. Um, I, I love playing three on three, so I'm really excited for it. And, uh, you know, we've been working on like in tight battering a lot, cutting back, um, skill work, all that. So, you know, taking those tools and, you know, using them in a game situation, that's what I'm taking from, from these few first days here. So they've been awesome. And, um, you know, the coaches done a great job, you know, teaching us. And, you know, it's, it's, it's been really good. And, you know, the things we, we work on, there are things that, you know, we're really going to help us in the game situations. I don't know, the NBR. Hey, Sampo, um, you were able to get into a couple of playoff games last year. What was kind of the feedback you got from the organization on maybe some things to, I guess, focus on heading into your, I guess, first full pro season? Yeah, um, you know, working on my defensive game, uh, you know, just uh, just being in the right positions. Uh, pro games a little different than college games. So that was the biggest thing. I even then just, you know, using my, my strengths, my speed, my skill, my body, you know, winning my battles. That's That's my game. So just using those things to, you know, help the team. Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Yes, Sampo, you mentioned skating with Mika this summer, and I know you said you had a bit of a relationship with him from before you you went pro. I guess just how do you know him originally and what's he taught you? What's your relationship like? So we're from the same town, and uh, we've been working out together for I believe four years now, workouts, skating, doing all that during the summer. So it's been awesome. You know, he's, a, he's one heck of a player, so... He's a guy I look up to and, you know, I got to learn a lot from him and, uh, you know, just watching him practice, things he does, uh, I can implement into my game and uh, it, it's been really, really great. Go ahead, Peter, if you had another one. Yeah, I was also going to ask, a, I know you're in a skating group here with Andreas Wingerly. What, uh, what has kind of stood out about his game? Um, I thought he, he looks great. Uh, he's a uh, he's, he's quick, quick feet, and um, he get a really good shot. He he can shoot the puck well, and uh, yeah, he's he's looking really good. All right, thank you, Sam. Appreciate it. Thank you. Heard things about development camp, so I wasn't too sure, but just wanted to come in and show the stuff that I worked on throughout the summer, and just show my best effort. Evan Rawl, DNBR. Hey, Sean Luke, um, just kind of wondering, with, with everything last year, you kind of got a unique experience playing in the AHL as a teenager when it normally wouldn't have happened. 
Um, do you think that kind of helped speed up your development and maybe, um, I guess, get things going a little bit faster than it maybe would have normally? Yeah, of course, uh, with COVID and all that, it was weird that I got that opportunity. But it was nice because I got uh, introduced to all the staff in Colorado and with the Eagles as well. So it kind of, I feel like it put me a step ahead and just coming here, you kind of already know a lot of people. So it, it's helped a lot. Yeah, going off of that, you have the experience with the Eagles, but this is your first technical camp with the Avalanche. And if, how has your experience been at the first development camp here going into this weekend's rookie tournament? Uh, it's been great so far. Uh, everyone here has been welcoming and uh, there's a lot of staff here that you can learn from and some players uh, that are maybe older than you that you can learn from that have been around. So it's nice to be around these guys and just get back to playing hockey again. Peter Vaughn, The Athletic. Speaking of guys who are older than you, Andreas Wingerly obviously came over from Europe and is one of the older guys here. What specific things stand out about his game when you look at him as a, as a player and as a forward? Yeah, I've had the opportunity to skate with him a couple of times and he's a very skilled forward. Uh, I like his game. I uh, haven't been able to see him in a game, but just from practicing that, he looks very uh, talented and I look forward to playing with him. All right, thank you, Jean-Luc.